guys, today I'm going to be doing a spring 2012 lip must haves video and I did film one of these previously for my old channel but I was talking so quietly that I couldn't even edit it so I just figured that I would just film a new one for this channel and sorry about the mess of my desk, I need to tidy it up and if you're from my old channel and you're thinking what the heck there used to be a green thing on there that was where my hamster was kept but she died on Saturday so anyway so I really hope that you'll enjoy this video and this is only my personal opinions on what I think people would like for their lips some of these are ones that I personally love to wear in the spring and summer and some of them are just ones that I think that other people may love so I hope that you'll enjoy this video and let's just get started First of all is I have a tinted lip balm and this is the Maybelline Baby Lips Tinted Lip Balm in Cherry Me and just looks like this, it is a really pretty cherry colour. I was going to film outside but because it's a beautiful day out but my next one over is gar garden doors open but whatever. So you get quite a lot of product and I only paid about £3 for this, I got it off of Amazon and it is a very beautiful pale pink colour. It smells like artificial cherries which I dislike personally just because it doesn't smell that good. But this is packaging, it's really cute and kind of beachy, it reminds me of the beach. But these are quite moisturising and the colour lasts a fair amount of time. My next three products are three of the Revlon Lip Butters and these are amazing products. They look so nice on the lips, they are highly moisturising and also highly pigmented but they are only a lip butter. So these are perfect for the spring and the winter and really nice if you want a look of a lipstick and a lip gloss but still want to be hydrated so these are the three colours that I chose to show in this video and you can see pictures of these on my lips on my blog and yeah so these are the colours the packaging is so gorgeous it's just a kind of suede effect with Revlon down at the bottom and then up the top you can see a preview of the colours so the first one which is the most neutral is creme brulee which I had on my lips today and it is a gorgeous nude, so easy to pull off, um, let's start swatching on this hand. So this is the colour, it is a kind of nude colour with some, I don't know, it kind of has some brownie and orange undertones which looks really pretty and as far as I can tell there is just a very fine silver shimmer in this product. The second one is Cupcake which is the middle tone one that I chose and this is a lilac colour with some very slight pinky hints. That is what it looks like, an absolutely gorgeous colour. And all these smell like MAC products, so vanilla. And then the last one which is the brightest, and this is Tutti Fruity. I feel like this colour will be hard to pull off on certain skin tones. But on me, I can kind of get it to work. I know, it works on my skin tone and I just do it in the way that works for me but those are amazing products and they are definitely going to be my top product for the spring and there was just a taxi that just passed with covered all covered in Britain but yeah so next product is a tinted lip conditioner and this has SPF 15 which is amazing for the spring and summer just because your lips are protected whilst hydrated whilst having a tiny tint of colour 
So this is the matte tinted lip conditioner SPF 15. And mine is in Petting Pink. And it's just a gorgeous pink. It looks as if it would be bright, but it isn't actually bright. I've made a dent in it because I love it. But it is basically a gel consistency. And as you can see, it just comes out as a pale pink. When you swatch it, again, it's a very pale pink. And it smells exactly like vanilla. Um, a less artificial, uh, a more sp stronger vanilla scent than these. And this is amazing, it will moisturise. I love the gel consistency just because it's very lightweight. Also just gives your lips a nice glossy finish and a nice little tint while still being hydrated and protected against the sun. So that product is really nice, especially especially to chuck in your makeup bag for the beach or something. The next product, I'm so sorry that I included this, but it is a discontinued matte product, but you could probably get it at CCO. But I just wanted to chuck this in just because it is a nice product. I personally don't use it that much. But I do feel like it's a really nice product and some people would like it. So it's the MAC Sun Tint SPF 20 Liquid Lip Balm from the Surf Baby Collection, I want to say. I believe so. And this is in Pink Tinge. So from what I can tell from about the eight times that I've used it since last summer, it is a gel-like consistency lip gloss. Uh, so it's a gel kind of consistency lip gloss with pink shimmer. So I want to say that it's basically this product but in a tube with shimmer whereas this one's more fine and less noticeable for the shimmer so it's just basically a liquid product of that so if you would prefer a liquid product then definitely try and pick this up on Amazon they sometimes have Real Mac or your local, local CCO um, so yeah then is I have one liquid product and this is Max Benetton. I feel like this is such a beautiful summer summer colour because you can put it on slightly and have a really nice pinky tint or you can build it all the way up to a raspberry red. You can even get it deeper than that. This is a cheek and lip stain by Benetton by Benefit and it's Benetton. I personally really, really love this product for the summer and spring. Hello boots. Um, not going to be everybody's favourite, but this is one of my picks. So, yeah. It's really nice. It's a tint, so it'll last for a while. A long time, actually. And, yeah, it just looks absolutely beautiful on your lips. Then is I have three lipsticks. I have one drugstore, and this is Rimmel's. I'm not in the center. Rimmel's Kate lipstick in twelve, and this is just a really pretty orange. Okay, it is sh more sheer than this product. It looks like it'll be brighter, but it is actually more sheer. So you could dab this on to get a very nice peachy effect. But I just like it because it lasts a while and it is a really nice summer colour if you like bright lips. Then I have two more of my personal favourites for lipsticks. The first one is this MAC lipstick in Please 
me and it's a matte finish and it's just the most gorgeous summer pink in the world just looks like that is very wearable and it smells like vanilla such a gorgeous smell and it lasts for quite a while it doesn't sink into your lips and it just gives such a pretty summery spring lip if you like lipsticks then is my last lipstick favourite is another MAC and it's Myth and it's a satin finish so this basically just looks really gorgeous on your lips my used to be my go to nude but now the Revlon is so this is my second go to and let's just put the swatch on it so that it's just a really pretty nude lipstick with some slight peachy undertones that's so nice on your lips kind of makes it look a bit dead at first but once you've chucked on a lip gloss it looks fine and it does sink into the cracks of your lips sometimes but the lip gloss will sort that out and it, I just love it for the spring and summer last two products are lip glosses and yeah so the first one's this Revlon lipstick which used to be my favourite lipstick in the um, lip lip gloss in the world so the Revlon lip gloss and I love the packaging it's kind of a suede effect up here that goes down into Revlon and this is a colour burst lip gloss in 002 crystal lilac and it's just a pink and it picks up the purple gorgeously it's a baby pink with a bunch of lilac purple Shimmer. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. It is kind of sticky, but I don't mind. Um, the colour payoff is amazing and it will last about half an hour ish on my lips. Bearing in mind that I do lick my lips a lot, so yeah. The last product is this Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker, which I have on still kind of over this product but obviously I put this on top whatever so this is in pink apricot so upside down pink apricot and it smells like cupcake by Lush their face mask I always say that but it's the most gorgeous lip gloss for summer it's plumping and it's just a kind of nude pink it's just a peach to be honest but it smells absolutely divine and um, lasts on your lips for a while because it is sticky and I just absolutely love it okay so that's the end of this video I hope that you enjoyed again some of these products are the ones that I wear a lot in the spring and summer and some are just ones that I think that you guys would like. All these I think are the most perfect spring lip colours and I hope that you all enjoyed. Don't forget to request and see you all in my next video and love you all. Bye.